Well, good day, and I love you. We're making school lunch. We're doing it fast. We're doing it nutritious. We're doing it delicious. Oh, are you ready? Okay, so I'm using Dave's Killer Bread, good seed bread. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Dave's Killer Bread, you got to get acquainted. Say what's up to little man. He's having school lunch. He's doing so good at school. He's a little overachiever, that one, I tell you. Everyone has their own superpowers. Mine is raising brilliant children. Yes. Yes. Okay, so my skillet is on medium. I think you can see it. I'll turn you a little more that way. I don't have to get in my background. All right. Um, and so I am using... Earth Balance Original Butter. It's always better if you stick your finger in it. You can stick your foot in it too. Y'all ever heard that saying? You stuck your foot in this. First time someone said that to me, I was like, I did not. And I don't even know why you would say such a thing. I mean, oh. All right, so my skillet's on medium. I'm putting that down and I'm gonna go ahead and match the flip side of the bread. And I'm a freak about making sure, like I, if the bread's shaped like this, it's not completely even, and then you put it on backwards, and it doesn't line up. Oh, on a grilled cheese? No, 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 no dice. I don't like that. So, I make sure that I flip the other side of the bread. I know it's probably not a big deal to some of you, but it is to me. Okay, so, I'm using Chow Creamy Original, made by Field Roast. Vegan cheese, really like this cheese, really like the way it melts. My skillet is warm, my bread is sizzling. I'm just gonna put a piece, and I like it to really cover the whole thing, so I sliver off a little piece there. And then I put that on, and then I have a fat skillet here. If we're in a hurry, or we really want it to cook fast, you can take a lid, and just put it on top of your skillet like so. And then you can take in, I have got way too many clothes on for all of this, okay? Just a minute, just hold on, let me get here. But I also have terribly sweaty, disgusting workout clothes on. But hey, that's digital learning life at home right now, right? That's mama on the fly. Umbele, umbele, what I do, what I do. Okay, so, that was, what is that from? Where did that just pop in my head from? I think that's Whoopi Goldberg. Who knows? I think that's Whoopi Goldberg from a movie with Bobcat Goldwing. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I'm a little black woman in a big silver box. Jumping Jack Flash. There you go. All right, so now that I have put my things away, and this is on medium, cooking, cooking. I'll give it just a moment, and then we'll flip the lid. We're gonna wash up some grapes. He's already had those and started on them. But um, what I wanted to tell you really quickly while this is cooking and the cheese is melting is, so the vegan cheese has 4.5 grams of fat per slice, no carbs. The thing it does not have is any protein content, right? Because it's, you know, it's a different deal. And when we're removing some of the animal products, we have to make sure that we're still getting all of the nutrients, of course, right? So with the Dave's Killer Bread, with two pieces of bread, He's got 10 grams of protein per sandwich and three grams of and six grams of fat. So he's got a nice healthy amount of fat. Plus there's the butter on this because that's gonna cushion his sweet little brain and help him concentrate and do his best work. Yeah. Right? And then um and then I give him a glass of um well I'll just show you. give him a glass of booch or I give him a glass of silk protein milk and this stuff has 10 grams of protein per cup per eight ounces so getting a totally healthy mix uh, amount of plant-based protein sufficient to fuel the body and to meet the macros that we desire for ideal health and balance right and so that will be done in just a second, and then I'll show you our pretty little sandwich. Um, let's see here, what else do I wanna to talk to you about in the meantime? Hmm, 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 I don't know. Uh, 
I don't have anything. Um, I'm always into just like really, the, the, you know, sometimes I do this in the morning and I have them ready, but like, um, I start cooking these a little bit ahead of time, so by the time he's ready to break for lunch, they're ready. Um, I use these grilled cheese sandwiches often. I cook ahead of time, and we'll take them for like dinners to go because they are a totally balanced meal with the protein content and the uh, macro nutrient content in the bread. It's a different breakdown than doing it with like you know regular wheat bread and a piece of cheese, right? So um, they wrap up nicely. You know, wrap them in a paper towel, and you can take them with you. And um, it's a nice, uh, it's seriously a delicious, nutritious meal on the go. And it takes about, well, what are we at here? Six minutes from front to back. So we're probably about done. I can go ahead and turn that off. Get myself a plate. And we are ready. Too much stuff going on, right? Okay, so let's see if we're good here. Yeah, look how pretty. Right? So I'll actually, I'm gonna let that just soak for a second. So I'll just bring you over and show you. So there's our pretty sandwich. As you can see, the only thing better would have been if I had cooked it on a ceramic skillet. But I only have so many ceramic pots and pans right now I'm building as I go because they're a little more costly. So, thank you for joining me. And this is a plant-based grilled cheese sandwich, but it's really good for um, lunch and meals on the go. I love you.